It's an undisputed reality that the South African economy desperately needs more successful, sustainable entrepreneurs and millions of new employment opportunities, especially in rural areas of the country. Yet many rural communities living in economically disadvantaged nodes have access to profitable beekeeping natural resources that they are not aware of nor currently benefiting from. The Bushbuck Ridge region of Mpumalanga, situated close to the iconic Kruger National Park, has some of the highest levels of economic hardship and unemployment in South Africa. Although a highly impoverished rural region, Bushbuck Ridge, with its livestock watering points and bee-friendly indigenous bush, fruit trees and bluegum plantations, is highly suitable for the production of unpolluted organic honey. The global shortage of honeybee products, especially those that comply with organic and fair trade standards, means that there are exceptional opportunities for trained beekeepers in unpolluted rural areas. Numerous in-depth studies in South Africa and abroad have recommended beekeeping as an excellent vehicle for rural development in emerging economies. Sustainable beekeeping can have a very low environmental impact and a tremendous environmental, agricultural and social benefits. Tanzania, Angola, Ethiopia and more recently Zambia have seen thousands of small-scale farmers being lifted out of poverty through beekeeping. Before African honeybee, however, the South African experience for rural beekeeping projects has been one of disappointment and failure. Through the African honeybee model, family-owned and operated micro beekeeping businesses can profitably participate in the global organic and fair trade honey markets, something that would have been virtually impossible to achieve as individual uncoordinated subsistence beekeepers. These individual family-owned and operated micro beekeeping businesses are the foundation unit of the African Honey Bee franchise model. They are what makes the African Honey Bee approach unique and distinguishes us from the failed cooperative or subsistence approach of other unsuccessful projects. A 100 hive micro beekeeping business costs 100,000 rand or 12,500 US dollars to establish. Once the business has paid off its loan, it will generate an average net monthly income of 6,000 rand plus or 750 US dollars plus. A huge improvement on the current average of 420 rand or 52 US dollars per family per month. Micro-franchising is able to effectively address the issues of critical mass, appropriate structures, training, logistical support and access to market in a way that increases development beekeeper retention in the industry. Micro-franchising not only ensures sustainability, alleviates poverty and creates jobs, but also enables commercial viability and wealth creation. The concept is based on achieving commercial viability through critical mass and scale. A hundred beekeeping businesses, each realistically working with a hundred hives, can collectively produce 300 tons and more of honey on an annual basis, and in the process move entire communities from a lifetime of dependency to a life of significance. This is a big and audacious goal that only can be achieved through the establishment of economically viable clusters of beekeepers by partnering with these beekeepers and providing them with access to ongoing technical and logistical support, by providing them with access to global markets and premium revenues, and by authentically living out the biblical admonition, if a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one of you says to them, go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what good is that? In 2011, 100 beekeepers from more than 5,000 applicants throughout Bushbuck Ridge were selected and organized into five working hubs. They received extensive, ongoing training. To date, they have completed 22 unit standards towards a National Qualifying Framework Level 1 learnership and ongoing mentorship according to the standards prescribed in the Comprehensive African Honey Bee Franchise Manual. The beekeepers have received safety clothing and beekeeping equipment, including veils, gloves, smokers and hive tools. Each owns beehives and a share of a beehive stand. Two senior beekeeper mentors work directly with the hubs, transferring knowledge and mentoring the beekeepers. 
We have completed business plans for both the franchisees and the franchisor and raised more than 4 million rand in grant funding from organizations such as AgriCita, AusAid, the APSA Foundation and the Community Works Program. Extensive research of failed rural development programs in South Africa shows that insufficient training, lack of ongoing support and inappropriate technology are three of the biggest obstacles to sustainable success. African Honeybee has developed a unique method of beekeeping that combines the best of African and Western apiculture. The honeybee friendly AfriFren prevents the spread of diseases, eliminates the necessity of expensive infrastructure and processes and enables the beekeeping businesses to qualify as zero CO2 emissions enterprises. Members of the African Honey Bee Corps leadership team have a genuine passion for social development matched by decades of proven real world experience. Guy Stubbs, African Honey Bee's founder, is a social entrepreneur who has been involved in social development for more than 25 years and has developed specialist experience and expertise in developmental beekeeping. While African Honey Bee is a small force for social change and rural economic development, we strive to apply best practice in corporate governance to all aspects of our financial and people management. Our core principles include transparency, accountability, multiplying talents, commitment to excellence and non-discriminatory servant leadership focusing on the Ubuntu principle of I am because we are. At African Honey Bee we believe our model can be replicated on a national scale to achieve local organic honey production as high as 10,000 tons per annum. Each beekeeper within the African Honey Bee model has the potential to produce approximately 30 kilograms of premium honey per hive annually, in other words 3 metric tons of honey from their 100 hives. African Honey Bee has already secured strong letters of interest from Co-op, Switzerland's premier organic and fair trade supermarket group for table honey, as well as with Varistor, also in Switzerland who are interested in industrial honey. Locally, Pick and Pay and Woolworths have also indicated their interest in stocking African Honey Bee's products, which will be South Africa's first organic and fair trade accredited Honey Bee products. When a consumer scans the QR code on each jar of honey, they will immediately be able to see the exact beekeeper who produced the batch, the exact location on Google Earth of where the hives that produced the batch are located, in other words, the consumer will be able to do their own traceability and verify the organic and fair trade accreditation and then pay market related price for his or her organic fair trade accredited honey. Best of all is that the consumer will be able to communicate directly with the beekeeper via social media. Our dream is through available technology to create a village market environment on a global scale. An investment of 3 million rand or 375,000 US dollars will enable African Honey Bee to prove concept over the next 14 months. Once we have proven concept, various social impact lenders have expressed interest in providing soft loans to the beekeepers directly to increase their equipment. Sustainability is reached when 4,000 hives are in production. Any additional hives over and above the 4,000 grow the business exponentially. The graph illustrates the ideal scenario of 10,000 hives, in other words, 100 beekeepers with 100 hives each. The investment opportunity offered by African Honey Bee is unusually sweet in that it is a commercially viable project that significantly improves the well-being of people and planet. The program scores high marks in terms of promoting sustainable micro-enterprise development, addressing solutions for food security, capacity building, poverty relief, organic agriculture, preserving biodiversity, enhancing agriculture through pollination, and creating new niche export markets. The African Honey Bee Program is a true broad-based black economic empowerment initiative that creates jobs and stimulates economic development. From an environmental perspective, the venture contributes directly towards environmental protection and the micro beekeeping business operations qualify as zero CO2 emission enterprises. And economically, the program will directly benefit 
the impoverished producer communities with an annual cash injection of more than 40 million rand once 500 beekeepers are in full production. So bottom line, our model is commercially viable and sustainable with African honeybee expected to deliver robust financial returns providing a solid base for accelerated expansion into phases 3 to 11 when a further 400 owner-operated micro beekeeping businesses will add value to the system. The returns besides being commercially viable with an IRR of 24% expected over 10 years are very attractive. We have heard about triple bottom line. I present to you a five-fold bottom line including a social, environmental, food security, economic and kingdom based return on your investment. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Further information about African Honeybee and my contact details are available on www.africanhoneybee.co.za